Recently my WordPress website went down all of a sudden. I don't know how it went down but the problem was related to database connection and I had spent almost two days trying to fix the issue. Uh, I had tried several techniques but none of them worked except one. So basically the error looks like error establishing a database connection. There can be several reasons uh, that this error can occur um in my case i will try to explain the things that i had tried to debug and find the issue and finally fix it so basically there are two main things we need to find the root cause of the problem and then there are some actions that we might need to take uh, i don't say that it will work for all of the cases this is basically the case i had faced so so finding the root of the root cause of the problem so how can we find the root cause of the problem for that we need to check error logs either of the apache server or mysql d dot log generally with this type of error related to database connection doesn't have to do anything with apache server but it has to do with mysql d log but i have ex included that just in case if we want to check some error log which is present on the server so i have my wordpress site on the aws system and then i had used a uh, bitnami wordpress uh, installation uh, to install wordpress into the aws server um, first of all we need to log into aws server where our website is hosted uh, there are several i have included a link that you can follow if you want to access ec2 instance from your local host i'm not going to do that in this video um and then you need to log in with the uh, you need to log in first of all log into the aws second one is you need to log in using the correct username it can be ubuntu it can be bitnami it can be root user generally we are not allowed to log in by default using the root user so somehow we need we can use following command sss minus i we need to provide the uh, path to the pm file and then uh, the link to the ec2 instance in my case let's try i have one test ec2 instance let's try this one so in this case you see i have used bitnami as a username and i can see all the files in it so in order to check uh, the error logs first of all if you want to check uh, how many processes are running what you can do is you can do opt slash bitnami slash uh, control yes see script.ss and then you can check using standard script okay you need root previous for that you need to do sudo su and then you need to use the same command as not this one what was the command okay let me type in opt with nami ctl pt script .sh, and then a status 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 with nami oh i have a typo sorry Control C T L and then it's script. Okay, so you see there are three main processes running PSP, FPM, Apache server, and MySQL server running now. MySQL server is running. Initially it was not because I have fixed the issue. Uh, so once you are able to log into the Bitnami server with the right user, you can switch to the root user by typing sudo and then SU. You will be in the root. You will be logged in as a root user so now the second step we need to check uh, in my case yeah either we can check if i say to error log it, it's up on you if there are errors you will see that if not you won't see any error so we with this command we are saying please show me last 100 log messages present in this file so as you can see I don't have any error messages in the Apache server. Let's try um, MySQL D 
dot log so even in this case you won't be able to see any error messages because it's fixed and i don't want to recreate the issue again in my case uh, the prop the log was something like this so you need to notice one of the log message says warning which is related to ssl certificate and then next one is unix there is some problem with the lock mysql socket lock file so the first step that i did was um i tried to use sudo opt bitnami control script stop stop all the processes first of all and if it didn't it didn't stop all the processes that's why i had to force kill apache server httpd mysql and psp fpm processes and finally start using the bitnami script in my case it didn't work the mysql was not able to start and then okay because of this error ssl certificate error i thought there might be some ssl self-signed certificate issue therefore i thought i would remove i would turn off the ssl check uh, while restart while starting the mysql server for that i had to open my conf my dot conf file which is inside bit of bitnami mysql my conf uh, you can see this file oops control x uh what did i do up oh, yes actually i should be i should open i, I can use sudo nano and then the path to the file i don't see anything because let me try to get into this directory cd yes and then nano my conf okay now i have the content so what i had to do under my sql d this my sql d uh, i had to do ssl equals to zero save it and then uh, restart the apache server no sorry restart my sql server it didn't work i don't want to save this so i want to say control x and then n which will not save that file it didn't work anyway that therefore i had to report back the changes i had to remove ssl0 so the last one is uh, i saw that, that there's error with unix socket lock file then i tried to google it and then i have this link that says we can remove this lock file that's what i did i removed this block file and then i restarted the server sudo using sudo up bitnami control will start mysql and finally it worked um maybe this is helpful to others as well i hope this makes sense for other people there can be different reasons for this connection error this was my case okay thank you